an idiot admires complexity, a genius admires simplicity. A physicist tries to make it simple. Terrence Andrew Dar Davis, or Terry Davis, was an American programmer who created and designed Temple OS, a public domain operating system that was similar to the Commodore 64. Its development was an extremely complex, time-consuming, and unusual undertaking just for one person to, to get into. Uh, Davis grew up as a Catholic and was an atheist for most of his adult life, but after experiencing a self-described revelation, he proclaimed that he had been in direct communication with God and that God had commanded him to build a successor to the second, second temple, as he said. He then committed a decade to creating this operating system of Temple OS, which was based off of the DOS-based interfaces of his youth. In 2013, Davis announced that he had completed the project, now called Temple OS. The operating system was generally regarded as a hobby system, not suitable for general use. But Davis did re receive a lot of sympathy from a lot of online f fans and support for bringing this project, this operating system, to fruition. During his final years, uh, Terry Davis amassed a really large online following and regularly posted video blogs to social media. Although he remained lucid when discuss discussing a lot of computer-related subjects in his video blogs, his communication skills were significantly affected by his schizophrenia. He was controversial in his regular use of slurs, he said the n-word a lot on his video blogs, and he also stated that he was being uh, tracked down by the CIA, that he was being watched and followed, and that he was un uh, being uh, he had to come back, uh, combat uh, factors of psychological warfare that was coming against him by the CIA. After 2017, though, he struggled with periods of homelessness and incarceration. And in, sadly, in 2018, he was uh, killed in an apparent suicide when he was struck by a, by a freight train in Oregon and died at the age of 48. Now, I wasn't aware of Terry Davis until I watched the Frederick Newsom video on him, which was an absolutely fascinating v uh, video that was very detailed about his life, as he grew up a very smart kid, a, a kind of incredible uh, kid who understood electrical engineering, he understood programming very well, and he had a bright future. But the issue was is that he had this uh, he had schizophrenia that started to make his life a lot more difficult. He started living with his parents and from there for decades he just devoted his life towards developing this very rudimentary basic uh, online uh, this operating system known as Temple OS and it's kind of incredible in the sense of that like he devoted so much time to this system even though really again it's considered a hobby system there wasn't really any kind of use for it in the modern day but he devoted a, a lot of his life to it now the thing is is that what I know him for is the fact that he did a lot of videos where he was essentially uh, web surfing or designing his computer uh, designing his operating system and he would be giving rants about pretty much anything talk about his life living with his parents his pets and of course saying a lot of racial slurs which were very much controversial for him and and the th fact that he felt that the CIA was tracking him down that they were using psychological warfare that people were um, coming after him and then so on and so forth and where I think I started watching a lot more of his videos was when he became homeless and where he started kind of ranting more and he started kind of showing videos of himself surviving on his own in his van and stuff and the way that he really had to deal with his schizophrenia considering the fact that in his in the final months of his life he really was struggling as he didn't have access to his medication and he was going from being homeless to being arrested and and having to be kicked out of counties because the police didn't want to have to deal with him and he traveled through California and in April of 2018 he stopped in Portland Oregon and the thing was is that he was such a kind of problem that local police informed other counties that he would be coming through that they would have to deal with him kind of being a vagrant and so on and so forth and it ultimately led to him just being isolated and having to go from library to library 
uploading videos, just reminding people that he was still alive, but you would continue to see that his speech was deteriorating, that his mental state was getting worse. And on the evening of August 11, 2018, while walking a line uh, alongside ro uh, railroad tracks in the Dales, Oregon, uh, Terry Davis was struck and killed by a Union Pacific train. Investigators could not determine whether his death was a suicide or accidental, although the train engineer believed the death to be a suicide. The police report stated that Davis was walking with his back towards the train and that when he turned around, it, that was the moment of impact. And the thing is, is that it's really sad to see that and it's sad knowing that he died in such a terrible mental state and in the fact that his life was getting worse and worse as he was being uh, becoming more and more uh, homeless. But the thing was is that he had a lot of fans. There's videos out there of him actually interacting with fans. I remember there was one specific one where he was actually being interviewed by fans at McDonald's as they like provided food for him, provided I think I believe a little bit of money for him and stuff. And to me it's it's sort of amazing the fact that like his videos are what made him famous and also in combination to this very simple operating system that people kind of check out for the its kind of uniqueness and the kind of legendary status that it has and how it's attached to its creator Terry Davis and the thing about him I, I really am saddened by the fact that he is he has passed away because I feel like if he stayed alive if he would have continue taking his medication if he would have been able to I, I don't know operate normally as a human being and stayed with his family we would have seen him continue to make very fascinating videos of him giving commentary of giving of giving rants of talking about stuff of him surfing the web because those are the videos that I really enjoy uh, it's also kind of I'm not it's it, it, Terry it, Terry Davis isn't in a sense, I'm not, when I watch his videos, I'm not laughing at him. He's not like a, what we consider as a locale. He's not someone who's who's uh, there for mockery and ridicule. He's there for the fact that he's an interesting and a very intelligent human being. But because of the fact that he was suffering from schizophrenia, he really couldn't have lived a great, fulfilling life. He lived a sort of a miserable existence, especially near the end of his life, being homeless. And again, I just wanted to make this video about him because I always thought he was very fascinating. I thought he was interesting, The what he was obsessed with, all of the stuff he kind of talked about in his videos, and the way that his life ended up is all all very fascinating to me, and I, I wish he was still alive, and I, and I feel that compared to like the previous video where I made talking about Fed Smoker, for example, Fed Smoker was just completely insane, and he was traveling across America harassing police officers and just doing insane stuff while living in his car, versus Terry A. Davis was really using his skills and his knowledge to be put towards productive things such as creating an operating system and that's where i think i like terry davis and i feel like it's sad to see him uh pass away and really not be able to really have against like i'm stating a lot not been ha having able to live a fulfilling life a normal fulfilling life but that's that's the kind of that's the disease that is uh, schizophrenia so in this video I just wanted to talk a little bit about Terry A. Davis and I hope you guys check him out watch a lot of his videos I highly recommend you guys watch Frederick Newsom's video on him as he goes into detail about his life where this video doesn't really give that much information on him uh, so I highly recommend you guys watch that video I'm gonna link that video in the description below I hope you enjoyed this um, I hope you learned something I hope you guys delve deeper into the life of, t uh, of Terry Davis I think he's a fascinating human being uh, there's a couple videos out there that I would recommend and I'm going to put in the description below that cover Terry's uh, Terry's life besides the Frederick Newsom video. So yeah, check him out please as I would highly appreciate it and I think he's a he was a wonderful and fascinating human being. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like always, have a wonderful day.